Welcome, I'm Dennis Quinley with Brentwood's Water and Wastewater Division. Today, we're going to discuss how to properly align or nest Brentwood Tube Settler modules for installation. Brentwood Tube Settlers have a unique feature not found in other tube settlers on the market, which is the presence of a wave sheet, or as other manufacturers call it, a flat sheet. Wave sheets contain dedicated assembly guides for precise alignment. Assembly guides also serve as location indicators during installation to ensure proper module nesting. In addition to the dedicated assembly guides, wave sheets also have stiffening ribs and a straight return. These features help differentiate Brentwood tube settlers as being the strongest on the market. With this degree of strength, Brentwood tube settlers can span up to eight feet unsupported with little to no deflection under a 250 pound point load or under a 500 pound point load when using our industrial grade tube settlers. Ensuring we keep all flutes, also referred to as channels, rising in the same direction, we place the second tube settler next to the first, ensuring that the corrugations rest into the guides. As you can see, although we are properly nested, there is a visible offset on each end. Now in order to achieve proper nesting, it's necessary to flip the module and then rotate it 180 degrees end for end. This will ensure that the flutes still rise in the same direction and when we nest them, there's no longer an offset at the ends. If our NSF certified blue tube settlers are being used for your project, you can refer to the imprinted NSF logo as an additional location indicator. Alternate the positions of the logos so that one is positioned at the bottom facing upside down and the other is at the top facing right side up. It is important to note that this trick will not work with our black, non-potable tube settlers. This method is only applicable for potable applications that use our blue NSF certified tube settlers. Continue the installation by properly nesting the modules side by side, going one row at a time. Modules should be snug with no visible gaps between them. Trimming modules for installations against walls or obstructions should be done to limit any gaps from exceeding a half inch or 12 millimeters. And thanks for joining us today for this demonstration. You can visit our website for more information on Brentwood tube settlers or view our other water and wastewater treatment products.